Hey guys, this is Samad here from DIY King. Well, in today's project video, we are going to build ourselves a magnetic stirrer by using commonly available hardware such as a bunch of MDF sheets, a 12 volt PC fan, a bunch of old laptop batteries and uh, the best part about this magnetic stirrer is that it has variable speed control so that we can dissolve anything in variable density solutions. So have a look at how you can build one for yourself. I started by cutting the pieces for the enclosure using my homemade table saw. All the pieces are made out by using 7mm thick MDF sheet. Check the description below for the dimensions of each of these pieces. I have glued rubber o-rings to each corner of the base plate. This will later help us to avoid the whole unit from skidding during operation. To drive the rotating head, I've used a brushless PC fan to make the whole unit power efficient as compared to using a brushed motor. This one is rated at 12 volt and draws up to 1.7 amps of current. Since we don't want the fan to blow any air, so I've teared down all the fins from the motor bell. Now to power this magnetic stirrer, I'm going to use three lithium polymer cells that I've got from an old laptop battery. Each one of them is rated at 2000 mAh and uh, has a potential of nearly 3.7 volts, which gives us an output of 12 volt when connected in series. I've glued a 3mm thick MDF disc to the rotating head which gives me more area to securely glue the magnets over it later. Here I'm using some powerful neodymium magnets, the link to them will be given in the description, so be sure to check it out. Later I've made some slots to mount a switch and a charging jack at the rear side of the enclosure.
Now to control the speed of the rotating head, I've decided to build myself a pulse width modulation speed controller. For that, I've designed the PCBs for the required circuit by using the schematic and later I've ordered my PCBs from jlcpcb.com. For the first order, I've got 10 PCBs for $2, which includes the shipment cost right at my doorstep. All I needed to order my PCBs is to upload the Gerber files and check out the options that are given below. That whole process took some time, but at the end, it was all worth that as the quality of the PCB was just too good for the prices they are offering. So don't forget to check out their website that is jlcpcb.com. The list of the components and the Gerber files for this printed circuit board along with the schematic for the circuit will be given at the Instructables blog spot for this project. The link to that will be given in the description below. For more details about this pulse width modulation circuit and its working, have a look at the previous project video. The link to that will be given at the top right corner of this video. So don't forget to check it out. The output of the speed controller is then connected to the PC fan or rotating head whereas the input goes directly to the battery pack. The stirrer is made by gluing a pair of magnets sandwiched between two plexiglass sheets. With that being done, our magnetic stirrer is ready to stir our drinks. And, uh, if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Moreover, have a look at some of my other project videos as well. And uh, for more upcoming projects, do subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the link just given over here. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you soon in the next one.